I've had this Build Pro table for about a year now, and one of the things that I realized compared to my other welding tables was how much quicker it is to fixture having an accurate grid system built into the table. I would spend a lot of time with the uh, older welding tables, clamping down fixtures to hold parts at right angles to each other and checking that everything was square. And having a precise table with a grid pattern that's accurate saves an incredible amount of time for me so that I can go straight to the shop floor, immediately work out a fixture, and build a part. I design and build fine furniture made of wood and metal. I also design and build some uh, components for Broadway shows. And uh, that means there's quite a bit of variety in the products that we make. One day it'll be chairs, tables, casework. So um, being able to change uh, fixturing strategies quickly has been a really uh, big asset uh, to this table. We not only use it for metalworking and welding, but also as a fixture table for woodworking, glue ups, also layout work. This is the uh, 38 inch by 78 inch version. Uh, my table is configured with a, um, a vertical plate here at the end which I use for holding work pieces upright and it's also on casters so I can roll it around the shop if I need to change the configuration um, and it's got leveling feet as well as the, um, the table leg braces to make the whole thing uh, really steady. These right angle plates I use a lot. They, um, I, I use them to hold work pieces in a vertical orientation or also with um, another right angle plate aligned vertically to hold work pieces uh, at a set height. I also use these uh, straight edge stops to create a reference surface or a uh, you know, uh, two surfaces that are at 90 degrees to each other. They also work well uh, to create an adjustable, uh, adjustable length stop so you can slide them in that orientation and then lock them down. In combination, of course, with the ball lock bolts. I use uh, these stops quite often to uh, create uh, a quick 90 degree fixture or a quick reference surface. They, they're in two different sizes. These are actually rest buttons, but I use them quite a bit as edge stops as well. These are the Inserta clamps, which I probably use the most on the uh, table. And these are the magnetic rest buttons. So they click down to the table. And I actually use them as uh, step overs when I have to uh, clamp over an object. These guys kind of help increase that clamping distance. So I use them quite a bit for that, even though they're not designed for it. These are the uh, table mount seat clamps, and uh, they're super handy, really fast to use. I use them a lot on the vertical plate as well. These are the Inserta clamps, which can also accept a V-pad to uh, clamp tubing. They also have a little uh, split ring on the top that uh, prevents the, the two pieces from coming apart, but I actually flip them over like that so that the clamp doesn't fall back down on the workpiece that I'm welding when I'm changing uh, positions. So it's kind of a little, uh, little trick. These are the 360 degree clamps and uh, the thing I like about these is sometimes I need to clamp something that the other clamps just don't quite hit perfectly because they're on a grid system. And this one I can actually move outside of that grid system uh, and get in the exact location that I want to be at. It also has a, a little key here that you can uh, depress and flip the clamp over and use it to push or lift upwards. So. All the clamps, you can do that. Um, I just happen to use these a little bit more in that configuration. And the changeover process is pretty easy. 
these little magnets I use quite a bit as well. They can either hold two surfaces on the same plane or they can be used to hold uh, a tab or a uh, bracket in a specific location while you tack it down. And uh, that's probably my most used tooling. I'm going to show you how I clean and care for the uh, Build Pro table. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I get rid of uh, spatter here. Normally what I'll do is take the, uh, the safe edge of a file, put it down on the table, and just pop them off. Sometimes it leaves a little bit of a burr on the table, in which case I'll take a little bit of degreaser and uh, some worn out sandpaper and just really lightly hit that area just to take, uh, take those burrs back down. What I do to avoid a spatter on the table is I generally will put my work pieces on these little uh, quarter inch by one inch by three inch cold rolled steel spacers and I just step the work up off the table surface a quarter of an inch and uh, what that allows me to do is get right to the corner of my work piece when I'm tacking it together and uh, it keeps the spatter from landing directly on the table. It's a little bit cooler by the time it touches the table, so usually the spatter doesn't really stick. Um, and it keeps the, the temperature in the workpiece from transferring as readily to the table, which could cause heat distortion. So that's what I do. Here I've got a little bit of surface rust on the table, and uh, it kind of looks like somebody left their big gulp on the table, left a little ring. What I do to uh, get rid of surface corrosion as I use a little bit of uh, Barkeeper's Friend which uh, is generally used for like cleaning up pots and pans but it's kind of a non-abrasive powder it works pretty good for removing this stuff. I take a like a piece of scotch Bright, put a little bit of uh, Barkeeper's Friend on there, spray it with a little bit of degreaser to kind of make a, a paste and then just work it into the table surface. cleans it right up. After I've cleaned the, uh, the surface and let it dry for a few minutes, I apply a little bit uh, of paste wax to the uh, tabletop. Now I'm talking just a little bit, just to help uh, keep any surface corrosion from coming back quickly. Just wipe it down on the surface. Come back about 10 minutes later and just lightly buff it with a uh, with a paper towel it keeps a nice slick smooth surface that uh, resists corrosion a little bit and it also makes uh, spatter less likely to stick to the table in the first place. All the time spent Scratching my head with the older welding table is non-billable time, and it adds up. The customer doesn't see you know, that you are problem solving how you're going to hold that welded assembly. If you can go straight into uh, value-added operations, that's a big benefit.